Welcome back to LA Fish Guys Aquarium Tech Talk Apex Installation. Um, we've done our basic installation of the Neptune Apex controller. Uh, we've gone in and set up the email. Uh, we've updated the firmware. So before we get into doing any of the actual programming and additional setup and calibration of probes, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it to Fusion. So we're going to connect it to the outside world for outside monitoring. And I touched on Fusion briefly before. Um, in that there's a few means of connecting to your Apex. There's the Apex app, but that requires port forwarding and dynamic DNS, which I touched a little bit on, and so that's kind of advanced networking stuff. And then there's Fusion, and Fusion is a cloud server um, that Apex uses to connect individuals' Apex to the outside world so that those individuals can access their Apex from anywhere on the planet without having to get into advanced networking and stuff. So the next step we're going to do is to go to apexfusion.com and we're going to set up an account for Jim's Apex there and we're going to connect the Apex to that account. So, join me as we move forward with the Apex setup. Apexfusion.com Get control. Create an account. Jim at AquariumDesign.com Use me. Download and install firmware windows. Okay, we've sent a message to your email. Please review the message to activate your Fusion account. So let's go to Jim's email here. Oh, yeah, and look at that. When we did our test earlier, we sent a test message to Jim's email as well. All right, so now we're waiting for a message to come in from Apex Fusion, and there it is. So now, click on the Fusion account. Read the following link, instructions in this link. Alright, so they give you a link with some basic instructions there, but... Alright, so... We're going to agree to the terms and conditions here. Oh my goodness. Gotta open that up. All right, Jim, so now you got to pick a username and password for this. All right, so the next step is to link the Apex. So we've got our default browser up here. I'm going to go to our dashboard here, and Apex Fusion Link. When you go to the main dashboard, now this is, to get to this dashboard, you use the IP address of your Apex, so you can go into the display and remember your IP address. We typed it in up. You select Dashboard here, and when you go to Dashboard, on the top left corner is Fusion Link. So you click on Link there. There's this token that's generated, so I want to get this token. Can't copy it, so we're going to write it down. Take that token and we put it in here. And we link it. So now Fusion's cloud server is going to go and it's going to get the information from Jim's, broad, uh, Jim's Apex that it's being broadcasted out to the Fusion server right now and they're going to connect and once they connect, like they just did, now Jim's Apex is connected to the outside world and Jim from any computer anywhere in the world can go to apexfusion.com, log in with his information and all his Apex status um, information will be there at his disposal and he can even go in and do programming from Apex Fusion. Premium Aquatics wants to bring you the highest quality aquarium products and livestock available at reasonable prices 
and to provide you with honest, non-biased information on their entire product line. Their goal is customer satisfaction and they want your return business. That's premiumaquatics.com. At some point, there comes a time in everyone's professional career where they must move forward. They must embrace that next leap of technology. I've been building and maintaining aquariums for 31 years, and I've always shied away from the latest gadgets, the newest lights, those high-tech fancy controller systems. I didn't get on board initially because I knew they were not long-term field tested. But even later, I still avoided these controllers and monitors because they seemed overly complex. And no surprise, I'm the furthest thing from a techie kind of guy. After now being introduced to the Apex system by Scott, I realized that 2016 was the year for me to have my electric moment. So what changed? Neptune Systems has been creating aquarium monitoring and controlling systems for nearly 18 years. So they've been around for a long time. But over the last few years, they snuck up on me and created a system to monitor your aquarium from anywhere in the world and control all the devices without having to be an electrical engineer. Okay, so you've got my attention now. The system is called Apex and the cloud-based software it comes with is called Apex Fusion. Apex Fusion is the recent improvement that has made it so super simple. Using the step-by-step -step Get Started Guide, the Apex was easy to install and get connected up to their Apex Fusion cloud-based control. In only a matter of minutes, I got the basics going and could monitor all the tank's vital signs. Temperature, pH, ORP, salinity, water levels, leaks, and tons more from anywhere in the world. It'll even send me text messages. That 24-7 monitoring is key because it's the insurance policy against the top failures that will destroy not only your livestock, but your ultimate enjoyment of the aquarium hobby as well. If that alone was not enough, the Apex is the Swiss army knife for your tank. It can control many different aspects of the aquarium that often require many discrete pieces of equipment. This can save tons of money, from pump control, to dawn to dusk dimming of lights, to dosing control. It does it all. My revelation for 2016? I think the Apex is a key component of a successful aquarium. And remember, if I say it's easy to set up and use, that says it all. Hi there, my name's Jim Stein and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is myfishtank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available. And the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com. One of the best things about going with an Apex is that you become one of the tens of thousands of other owners that love helping each other out. Maybe you get stuck or maybe you just want to simply take on a new DIY project. Whatever your question is, the Neptune Systems Community Forum brings all of those thousands of users together to help you answer it. Many of the things discussed in this video series are also covered there in various posts. Or add your own question and start the conversation. That's forums.neptunesystems.com. So we have now connected it to Fusion. Let's see here, check. Okay. Everything is there. So when he logs into Apex Fusion, this is what he'll see. And then you click on Apex there and voila. 
the status, we're not using any real power right now, uh, this temperature, this pH, uh, pH2, which we can disable, um, unlock that, I'm going to get rid of that tile there, so now he's got his temperature, his breakout box switches, and all that good stuff. Um, one other thing about uh, Fusion is if you add different modules and stuff like that, um, and you don't see them in the list here, you add another EV8 or whatnot, you can click on this little lock there, and any unused items, outlets and stuff like that that are not in your master list will be up here. Um, and things that you don't want in this master list, you can simply, you know, remove them and hit the little X's and send them up to this area here that you do not see. So if you want to add or remove things from this list to simplify it, you just click on this little lock there and you can, like for example, um, sound warning rid of that. I don't need a sound warning in here. A sound warning is something that warns you before an alarm goes off or something if you want to create something of that nature. So any unused tiles that aren't in this list, when you click on this lock, they're up there and you can drag them into here if you want and put them back in the list, but we don't need that. So Let's see here. And in fact, I'm going to kind of reorganize things here a little bit. We'll drag that temperature up there because that's more relevant than as amperage is. Um, and I don't think he really cares about his amperage for that matter, so we'll move that amperage thing up there as well. And that's it. So there's Apex Fusion for you. Um, just to kind of touch on Fusion. Um, this lists the different Apexes. If you have multiple Apexes when you log in, um, would be, they'd be listed here if they're attached to your Apex account. Uh, these are warnings and alarms. These are graphs. Um, so I would tell you, you know, graphs of your pH and stuff since we only plugged it in just recently. There really isn't much data there. Um, go back to dashboard. Um, we don't have any outlets that we're tracking history or status on, so there's really nothing in that information field. These are a list of all the outputs or the outlets. If we want to go in and program an outlet, um, this is where you would do it. Um, in fact, you know, I can go in and do some quick setup here, which we'll, we'll do that in a little bit when we go back to configuring the Apex. Uh, oops. This here um, is profiles. So profiles are things that we'll utilize, for example, Jim's lights. When we set Jim's lights up on his Apex, this is how we'll program those. Um, if you're keeping track of your calcium or your alkalinity and stuff like that, this is where you would do that. Um, you can add, do a test on alkalinity and put that information in here and it'll create some nifty graphs over time as you build that information. Um, so again, that's in the little thing there. It looks like a flask or a beaker. Um, notes, keeping notes on your system. You create notes in here and it'll log them as well. Um, authorization. This is where you can add friends to your Apex list so they can view your Apex status. I've had friends link me to their Apex and I go to log into my account and next thing you know, I see other people's Apexes on my Apex account and I'm like, what the heck happened there? Well, that's how you would add friends your thing. Um, you can add somebody if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So, in a nutshell, that's basically Fusion. Um, as I said, it gives you access to your system from anywhere in the world. It allows you to program from anywhere in the world. It bypasses the need to get into advanced networking setup with port forwarding and dynamic DNS um, so that you can access the native web interface. Um, however, if you do want to use the Apex app, um, you will need to get into port forwarding and stuff like that. For the most part, there's really no real need to. The app isn't updated frequently. It was not created by Neptune Systems. It was actually created by uh, an avid Neptune user. Um, it's been around for many, many years. It was slightly modified for the Apex, but it's a little bit cumbersome. And 
it's not very up to date, so there's really not much reason to use the Apex app. Fusion is the future, um, and short of working, you know, on your Apex around the house, um, Fusion is the best way to access your Apex if you're working at home. I still like the original Neptune Apex default browser, which is right here. So, with that said, um, next thing to do is to start setting up the Apex, and that means plugging in his devices. We're going to go into the other room and get into probe calibration and things of that nature. So, um, stay tuned for the next part um, where we get into actually setting up and putting his Apex to use. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next part, and we'll keep moving forward.